violent extremism has been described as the beliefs and actions of people who support or use violence to achieve ideological, religious, or political goals. For some decades now, activities of different extremist groups have ravaged most countries of the world with millions of people dead and others homeless. In Nigeria, acts perpetrated by violent extremists, otherwise known as Boko Haram members, have left far-reaching consequences on the country and the environment. In our Neem Kalm capsule, a segment which highlights soft measures for tackling terrorism in the country, we have in the studio Dr. Marcy Kwabe, a lecturer of international relations and diplomacy at the Bayes University of Abuja, to speak on the role of women in countering violent extremism in the Northeast. Ms. Kwabe, welcome to our network studio. Thank you for having me. Well, before now, it was generally unthinkable for a Nigerian to accept to be a suicide bomber or take to extreme ideas. How did we get to this state? I think um, for the longest time, extremism has been underrated in Nigeria. We, we are in a system where we wait for things to get extreme before the government responds. And the truth is that when you have... Uh, a modus operandi like this, people get used to that fact and then they try to, if they're trying to pass along their ideas and it's not getting, nobody's responding, they tend to um, revert to extreme measures, basically. So that is where we found ourselves now because the only way, basically, to get your ideas heard is by picking up guns, killing people, and then somebody will say, okay, so what do you want? That has been the, the state of Nigeria's insecurity for the past, over, since independence, if I can go back, um, as far back to that. But has the narrative changing? Well, I would, not, I would not say that, because the Buhari administration has shown us that uh, it's a no-nonsense administration. I mean, in one year, so many places were liberated from Boko Haram. So I can't say for sure if it is changing, because it's just been three years since Buhari came on set, and we can't really say that. It has to play over a certain period of time to know if the narrative has truly changed. No, the issue of uh, people taking up arms for their voices to be heard, you know, what of that instance? Well, we've seen a lot of... Okay, let's take, for instance, the shite crisis here in Abuja. We've seen people, they've come to protest, and still yet, it's like nobody's saying anything. So they protest today, tomorrow there's nothing in the news about it. Nobody's addressing what happens to their leader, or what has happened to him, if he's alive, if he's doing well, what are the charges laid against him. Next time they come, they won't be as peaceful, because uh, it's just frustration, aggression. People try to get ahead, they don't get ahead. And next thing, they become aggressive. So uh, I wouldn't say the narrative is changing based on that fact. But like I said, it will have to, it will have to play out in time. Like we need like a longer period of time to know if the narrative has changed. But media organizations take those stories all the time. Whenever there, there's crisis, you know, the, the, you talked about the Shiite crisis and, and, and that not much has been heard on the media. The media talk about it, don't you think so? Yes, I think the media talks about it, but I think that's where it ends. Because it's not just all about talking. You talk about it, we raise awareness. After that, there's supposed to be somebody else that picks it up and says, okay, so what can we do about it? But then when that bridge doesn't exist, then there, there becomes a problem. Now, now let's look at uh, investing in women. People believe that investing in women's participation in governance play an important role. What do you think the federal government and non-governmental organizations can do to promote women's participation in politics? Well, first of all, the question is, why do you even think women's participation would matter? It's because of the kind of society we have. We have women as the primary educator. We have women, and just the role that women play in Nigerian society, and that's how they can get to these people. Now, uh, I think the government is already doing the best that it can do. I don't know if any of you have been to the northeast of late, but there's so much going on there. Um, today is the last day of 16 Days of Activism, which is a um, gender-based uh, activism. And for these 16 days, since it started on November 25th, we've had so many organizations teaching women how to pick up signs, how to... Yes, it's a um, violence-based uh, activism, but then they're still teaching women, okay, if you see something where talk about it, Talk to your children. If your child is active, there are NGOs there that help 
to rehabilitate these um, people. Even the Nigerian military has started programs that rehabilitate people. So I think the government is doing the needful. It would take time. Um, terrorism, extremism is not something that will go away in a day. It didn't start today. It would not end today. All right, so uh, we have been speaking with uh, a lecturer at the Bayes University, uh, Abuja, uh, Miss Mercy 